five, you're getting it for $18.95. It's called our Kitchen HQ Speed Grater. Kitchen HQ is our own proprietary brand. What this is is basically an easy food processor. Nothing to plug in, not a lot of buttons to fiddle with it. All you do, you put the, you get three of these little uh, metallic drums right here in the front. All you do is decide which drum to put in. You've got the fine uh, drum, you've got a coarse drum, you've got a slicing drum, and then you just put the back of the handle on. You feed your food in the top and you give it a turn. And when you see it work, all right, and you're gonna get to see my very good friend, John Florell. I call it the John Florell Show. He's gonna show you everything you need to get going with it. It is amazing, lowest price ever, best $20 bill you'll ever spend. All right, before John comes out, because I see him ready, and I know John gets, you know, John's like, come on, guy. I gotta show colors uh, for everybody out there. So I have it available. Uh, this is our teal. It comes available in blue. It comes available in, uh, I think we're calling this the, are we calling this rose? Rose, this is gray. The one that I own is in red, and then it also comes in black. And again, you get all this, the, the stainless drums, easy to clean. Uh, almost every part is dishwasher safe. I just rinse them off and put them out. Let me introduce you to my special guest. I'm gonna do some demo a little bit later, but I want John to go. Here's John Florell, everybody. John, I love this guy. Good morning. Hey, thanks for having us on. I gotta tell you, Kitchen HQ came out with the best kitchen item, and the, I'll tell you why. It saved you so much time. I mean, look at how quick I just sliced the carrot. If you missed it, I'll do it again. I've got the slicing drum in right now. All I'm doing is turning the handle. All the slices come out the front of the machine. All you're going to do is put a bowl, frying pan, measuring bowl out in front. Now, you can do all kinds of things. Like if you wanted to slice cucumber for bread and butter pickles or for cucumber salad, you'll nickel down carrots for canning, slice beets for pickling. You know, instead of using a knife, or one of those four-sided tin can, I call it the old knuckle buster grater. I'll show you that in a second for cheese. It's amazing. But it does more work than you can do by hand with a knife. I mean, look at this. Three stalks of celery, perfect for stir fries, soups or stews. Or here, if you want to make homemade potato chips, put a potato in the top. It slices them perfect for homemade scalloped potatoes, potatoes are rotten, homemade potato chips, and everything goes in the bowl in front of the machine. In fact, I'll hold that up there. I don't have a close-up camera here. So wow. I'm gonna put it towards the, you guys can see this. And here's how easy this is to change. And by the way, you can do small things too. If you want to do one radish, you can do one radish. If you want to do three, four, five radishes at a time, just pop them in the top. This pusher feeds the vegetable, fruit, meat, or cheese down through that blade so you don't waste anything and you can't cut yourself with the machine. But here's how easy it is to change. I'm gonna take the slicing drum out and these are all stainless steel dishwasher safe drums. You also get a coarse grating drum and you get a fine grating drum. So you're getting all three of the drums. I'm gonna go to the coarse grating drum and watch this guy because it's so simple. You just twist the handle on the back, you're ready to go. But now you'll grate everything. You'll grate potatoes for potato pancakes, hash browns. You'll grate sharp Watch. cheddar cheese, Parmesan <laughs> cheese, carrots, coconut, <clears throat> zucchini for zucchini bread or zucchini muffins. You can see why, guy. This machine has become the number one best-selling kitchen tool in the history of HSN. If you don't have one yet, you need to get one. If you already have one, pick some up for friends at this price. I mean, it's a great time to put them away for... Christmas in July, you know, stuff stuff away for Christmas time is perfect for that. But watch this here. Here's how easy it is to set up and clean. Now, I know you're grading some zucchini there. Hey, listen, zoodles, fantastic. Zucchini bread, zucchini muffins. Now, you've got the coarse drum in there. Uh, to change out the drums, look at, oh, zucchini, look at that. You're doing yellow squash. Oh, my gosh. For salads, John, and then just push Absolutely. it right in. I mean, it's fan yeah. John, how long would it take me to do that by hand? How long? Uh, oh, yeah, or, or with one of those old four-sided tin can, you know, those knuckle buster graters that everybody has, those tin can graters, where you, you need a, a box of Band-Aids just to use one of these things, right? I mean, when you get close to your fingers, you either need a manicure or a Band-Aid. But look, watch how easy this is, guys. It all comes apart for easy cleaning, because let's face it, if a kitchen tool is hard to clean, we'll never use it, right? You got your base, that's your suction base. You put that down on any smooth countertop or tabletop, you slide the top on just like this. Now, all you're gonna do is twist this collar, and what that does is it locks it down solid to your countertop or tabletop so it won't move around on you. I'm gonna take that coarse grating drum, put it in the machine, twist the handle on, and now you're ready to go. Here, how about this? I'll put a small bowl, take a small bowl, frying pan, measuring bowl, anything you like to catch the food in the front, and look, on taco night, for enchiladas, burritos, tostadas, I mean, for salads, and or for homemade chili, 
I'll tell you what, my wife, the other night, we, we just did a, a barbecue outside, but she did her homemade mac and cheese. And we did everything on this, all five cheeses that she puts in her mac and cheese. And we did a cheese it topping guy, a cheese it, you know, Brett, I'll show you that in a second. Because look, you can do hard things, soft things. Here's a, a ball of wet mozzarella cheese. Put it in the top. When's the last time you actually grated wet, <laughs> soft mozzarella for your homemade pizzas or for a lasagna? And look at that. I mean, it comes out of there absolutely beautiful, but you can do things like this too. How about hard boiled eggs for egg salad? Oh, I love Same that, John. Chicken salad. All you do is turn the handle, instead of mashing your eggs with a, a fork and a bowl, you know, chasing them around, trying to mash them, <laughs> yeah. now you can grate them, and then it goes into the bowl, so all you do is take a dollop of mayonnaise, mix it up, season it up however you like. You can even do jalapenos or maybe a pickle that you want to grind up in there. It all goes into the bowl. And, how, look, here, look at this. Soft, fresh bread for homemade breadcrumbs. These oh, are some leftover uh, buns that we had for our pulled pork dinner the other night. Oh. They're leftovers. But look at this. Now you can turn your leftovers into a, a chicken stuffing or a turkey stuffing. It. Or maybe it's maybe it's a breading that you want to do for a panko. John, Everything John, goes into the bowl, guys. John's a fisherman, so we'll appreciate <laughs> this. So my, my uh, son's girlfriend's father, Bruce, got me some uh, red snapper, fresh fillets. Oh, yeah. I made a crust out of saltine crackers by using my yeah. uh, by using my um, my speed grater. The best fish I've ever had. Uh, since we have a close-up camera, I want to show you really quickly. So I just did that vegetable. Uh, all you do if you want to change out the barrel and I'll show you again is you uh, unscrew the back very very simple I own this at home so it's easy to do you take out whatever it is b uh, barrel that you want in there like that right and just kind of take out the, the excess and then I'll switch I'll put this drum in here I'll put this one over here now uh, I want to add a different drum so I want to do something fine so I'm going to take my fine drum I put it in the front just like John did and then I screw on the back very easily this is how you tighten it and now I'm going to do a graham cracker crust for like a pie so if you're doing uh, you know a cheesecake or whatever I get it started let me get this out of the way. A little cramp for space here. So I get it started, and then I, you can push down with your hand a little bit, but I want everybody to see how awesome this is for graham cracker. Watch it. And I'm done. <laughs> Isn't look that at that graham cracker crust that I just yeah. made. I mean, look at that, right? Don't buy, John, you always say, don't buy it, make it, right? L listen, for your, for, your, uh, for your key lime pies, that graham cracker crust is great. But try ginger snaps for oh. a crust for your key lime pie. Run it through the machine. Now, I still have the coarse drum in here, guys. But, and I, you did the graham crackers, but look at this. Take almonds, walnuts, peanuts. I've got some honey roasted peanuts and some M&M. Oh. I'm gonna put them in the top. Look at this, for an ice cream sundae topping, for cake toppings, pie toppings. I mean, you can do Oreo cookies. Hey. You can do your cheeses. You can. Listen, it does it all. I just want to put and my mouth under there and eat all that while you're grinding it. <laughs> <laughs> it comes out perfect all right. for, homemade, uh, all right. for homemade cupcakes. Let me give yeah. everybody the colors one last time. So rose, uh, it comes in blue, it comes in teal, it comes in black, comes in red, comes in gray, comes with all the drums. A $20 bill, you'll absolutely love it. The best cooking appliance you will buy and you never have to plug it in. It doesn't wake up the kids uh, if you get up early to cook as well. John, great job as always. He's so amazing. 673085. Hey, <coughs> excuse me, also available. We have these really cool uh, two-in-one cutting board containers.